Hi everyone, Succulents Box here. In today's video, we are very excited to share with you the best types of water and how it can make a difference to your succulents. So what are the best types of water that you can safely use on your succulents? The first on the list is rainwater. It's the absolute best and perfect water for your succulents and any other type of plant you may have. That's because, unlike any other type of water, using rainwater to water plants will allow their roots to absorb nutrients better. Plus, it helps the soil release micronutrients like zinc, manganese, copper, and iron, all of which are very important to their growth. However, since rainwater is not always available, it's best to store some for future use as long as it's allowed in your area. Some states consider it illegal to harvest water. Distilled water is another type of water that we highly recommend in using to water your succulents. It doesn't contain any additives and toxic chemicals like chlorine or fluoride, which usually cause stunted growth, root burning, and even discoloration of the plant's leaves. And although this type of water is a bit pricey compared to rainwater, you can easily find it just about anywhere. What water is not safe for succulents? Tap water may be the worst kind of water to use in watering succulents. Though it's free, it contains chemicals like chlorine and fluoride and many other components that may lead to issues like changes in soil, root burning, discoloration, or white spots on leaves, and even stunted growth, especially if tap water is used on a regular basis. Is it safe to keep using tap water? The short answer is no, as using tap water to hydrate your succulents could really affect their overall well-being, especially when using it regularly. However, you can still use tap water to hydrate your plants as long as you remove all the chemicals it contains first to make it safer. How to remove chemicals from tap water? Option 1. Fill a pot with tap water, then boil it. Or you can leave it uncovered for a day or two to evaporate all the chlorine and settle all the rest of the contaminants at the bottom of the container. Just make sure to leave a few millimeters of water from the bottom when it's time to use it and water your plants. Option two, using purifiers like charcoal filters or RO purifier can also remove all pathogens like protozoa, bacteria, viruses, as well as chemical contaminants like sodium, chloride, and copper from your tap water. Option three, another thing you can do is add white vinegar or citric acid crystals to the tap water to help lower its pH level. However, you'll need to purchase a testing kit to check the pH level to determine that you are adding just the right amount of white vinegar and citric acid crystals. Well friends, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you again next time. For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.